Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Tom. We're back here with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Season 1, Episode 22. Last episode, Tom, Cliff Notes, uh, basically April versus Karai. It was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. We talked about liking the fight. Yeah, it was a it was a nice fight. You know, April remembered some of her training. Yeah. And was able to evade Karai, at least temporarily anyway. Yeah. Do you remember the detail in the beginning uh, with the stuff that spilled on her arm? Yeah, there was this chemical, essentially, that, that they had been kind of looking at, this compound that would melt through pretty much anything, and it accidentally spilled on April's arm, because Mikey was being Mikey and Yeah, off. she wasn't made of pizza, that was his, yeah. his theory, right? <laughs> they talked about April specifically being the key that the Krang need is now... We got, I think, five more seasons to go. Before we jump in, make sure you guys check us out on Patreon. It's a good way to help us. We have the next two weeks early access there now, and we also have full length. Let's go! I could do this all night. Dude, it's like we just cleared a video game on easy. Mikey, if Master Splinter has taught us anything, it's that real combat is not like a video game. Hey, coin! I'd be worried that they have like a high mind. Promised me an army of the best, most lethal ninjas in the world, but the turtles have decimated them. Just give me time. No more time. I need more soldiers. I need better soldiers, and I need them now. <laughs> That's impossible. Perhaps there is a method for building an army of foot soldiers powerful enough to destroy those turtles. Once and for all. A method we shall steal from the Krang. The hell is that? Those Krang are like, they're kind of creepy. Like, yeah. I think they're like squishy and... Remember the original Krang, right? Shredder! This is Krang! <laughs> you remember know that? Like... So we know in the very first movie, it was about fathers and sons, and they were recruiting kids off the street to become foot soldiers. Right. And uh, there was a, a levels and a process to actually get to the point where you're wearing an emblem. But still, I think it's supposed to be without Shredder and Tatsu who trained the foot, there was this coldness and ruthlessness to how they were raising these fatherless kids. And the Ninja Turtles had love on their side. And that's one thing that was cool about it. And I, obviously, same thing here. They're just finding kids uh. and converting them. All right, guys, let's pack it in. Nothing's happening. Brooklyn. I don't get it. Just one guy? Maybe they only need one guy. Maybe this guy is the meanest, baddest. I bet he's that one fat Ninja Turtle kid. <laughs> oh. Oh. Or not. Yeah, it's a, I guarantee it's that one guy who was dressed up as a ninja. Ambush! All right! Oh, hit him on the nuts. Yeah. Everything okay? I heard... Whoa! It's his voice. Wait, Donnie, it's me! What? The pulverizer? Hey, what do you guys think of my new threads? I'm a ninja now! How and what are you doing with the foot? Well, last time you told me I needed to practice. They liked me so much, they asked me if I wanted to join the Foot Clan. So they're taking wow. anyone out. You must right? really be hurting for dudes. In traditional Japanese warfare, the Ashigarusha were the expendable soldiers who were sent in first. No, no, the foot wouldn't do that. We're the good guys. Why would you think that? We're out there fighting the Krang just like you. Expendable. Why are the foot fighting the Krang? I can totally find that out for you. I could be a spy! So it's kind of like Kino in Ninja Turtles 2. I'll recon intel and uh, send you a text. I'm in ninja <coughs> You four have defeated much of the Foot Clan with ease. Why does he make that sound like a bad thing? Because you have grown complacent! But... There are times when you may not be able to fight with what you know. And when that happens, you must adapt to your environment. Only say a 
comic book. Anything can be a weapon. What do you want us to do? I want you to embrace the unfamiliar. Switch weapons! In Ninja Turtles, the next mutation. You can... Ajime! Oh, they wouldn't be that. Huh? Especially you think with like those with like swords and enemies and fish. At least with them. You will continue to fight this way. It will teach you resourcefulness and versatility. Not so easy, is it? Hey, I'm getting the hang of it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> the pulverizer is telling us where the foot are gonna strike next. What do you know? He's actually useful. Yeah, but he can't stay in the foot. They'll toast him. All right. We'll follow up on his lead and then bust the poor guy out of the foot. Oh, my God. Just like in Ninja Turtles 2, Raph and Kino wanted to collaborate and him be a spy, and everyone else was against it, saying it's too dangerous. Remember? Yeah. Looking for trash. Whoa! Oh, hey, great. You got my message. I have some information for you. Just stay behind us and help! It's the turtles! They've got me! What? Help! Sorry, guys, can't blow my cover! As the one with the swords, I say, retreat! Having the swords doesn't make you leader. The train and the time to like, okay. I was thinking the same thing. Whoa! Watch where you swing that thing! You should talk! Sorry, my bad. Switch weapons! There you go. Was hoping they were gonna do that. Mutagen. Mutagen! The foot are stealing mutagen! Shredder with mutagen. Well, that can't be good. You don't have to hide, Pulverizer. The foot are gone. <clears throat> you shouldn't use my real name. Damn. Guys, you'll never guess what Shredder's gonna do <clears throat> with the mutagen! He's gonna create a mutant army to destroy us? There's, there's a lot more to it than that. Really? No. You guessed. Pulverizer, <laughs> you're in over your head. Go home. Wait, not until he finds out more about Shredder's mutation plan. Okay, I'm off! I'm practically invisible! Oh, no! <laughs> go Guys, maybe it's not such a great idea sending the pulverizer into harm's way. So, you decided not to follow my lesson. Sensei, we don't get it. How does switching weapons help us in a fight? Hand over your weapons! No! <laughs> no! Treating them like little kids. Give me your weapons. I know. Bring the fool known as Pope. <laughs> we will the begin fool. our mutation experiment with him. Oh, fuck, man. Known as a warning, the mutagen is unstable in this dimension. I believe this fool is saying the mutagen is dangerously unpredictable. See to it that fail safe measures are put in place. Oh, it's our spy. This is Special Agent Delta Niner calling from behind enemy lines. Shredder's gonna mutate just one foot soldier first as a test. And guess what? I volunteered. What? I know. Isn't that cool? No! You think that's cool? This is my chance to be like you guys. Throw some mutagen on me and boom! I'm a superhero. I'm taking Shredder down. I knew we should have gotten that guy out when we had the chance. Well, we're gonna get him out now. Let's go. You know, I hope he doesn't turn. I mean, this show is turning a lot of people. And it's always like something terrible. Like okay, he's just some innocent, naive fool. Yeah. Foot! Yeah. Ah! Ah! about that for a second. Ah, the turtles. Why do I ask these questions? Why? I'll deal with you soon enough, freaks! Coming from him. Freak! Freak! Ninja Turtles, first movie. Whoa! Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Ooh, those legs are cool, man. Is that part of the mutation, or is it like... <laughs> Jesus, that 
fucked up as shit, isn't he? He is. You, you can take one of the foot soldier's spears. I was thinking the same thing. Timothy, no! What are you doing? I'll save you, Donatello! Wait! Can you hear what I do? Is everyone else? I don't know. Oh, they had to go on foot, remember? Because he took the... And now we're getting out of here. Hopefully. Oh yeah, no weapons. Okay, big dog man thing. You asked for it! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be... Fuck, really? We got a problem. That dude's straight nasty! Well, all these ninjas in this entire room are all running away. <laughs> Jeez. It's, I mean, I just, it's fucking tragic. The entire warehouse is rigged with plastic explosives! <gasps> We still gotta get out of here. Let's go! Not without Timothy. And how do you suppose we get that blob out of here? Timothy! Hey, Timothy! <laughs> that thing's awful. Yeah, yeah, it is. Now! Do you think Timothy is happy with his new state of being? Seems that way. He wanted to be a mutant. Donnie, we're letting you keep him, but you gotta stash him in your lab so I don't have to look at him. <laughs> I promise, Timothy. One day I'll turn you back. Our mutagen supply was lost in the explosion. They have dismantled my army and thwarted my plans. It seems we have a common Come enemy. Come on, they want to, they want to like terraform the planet. And... Yeah, I have some thoughts on that too. That was a hell of an episode. I don't feel real good about it. It was a great episode, but I feel like depressed. I do too. I mean, I'm not surprised. I am a little bit, but I'm shocked. Does that make sense? Yeah, I. They, he's just this fat. Innocent, naive kid who's just yearning to belong. Wanted to help. And yeah. now, like, it's not just like, he's not like a mutant who can help them. He's like this disgusting shit blob. Something that I flushed down the toilet this morning when we got here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope they can turn him back. I, I imagine before the show's over, that's something they'll do. Well, and I, right before they said that at the end, you know, when Leo was talking to him and I thought to myself, I was like, I wonder if he's like just gonna be like that forever, or if there's. And then they literally said it like in the next sentence, like, "Oh, I'm gonna find a way to change you back." Yeah, one thing that I wondered is, so Shredder, he's kind of. I don't want to even necessarily say working with the Krang right now, but he's trying to adapt their technology into his plans. Because like he's kind of against them. He he's kind of like double crossing. Because they're an enemy, they're a common, they're an enemy of an enemy, but they're still an enemy. I don't know, I mean, the Krang is a much bigger threat, because it's going to threaten the entire world. Right. And the world, like, the world he wants to take over, the world of his daughter. I mean, the turtle, he just has a vendetta because of Splinter. Right. I, I just feel bad for Timothy, the pulverizer. And he was, you know, he was a funny, comedic relief, he was a little irritating, but, to the turtles, but he was enjoyable, I think, as, you know, on his own right. 
Well, I know that you've mentioned this before in previous episodes, but, you know, Shredder's got some of these, like, semi-elaborate plans. Yep. But it just seems like, for as ruthless and heartless as he is, that it seems like, at the end, oftentimes, he's like, oh, they've they foiled my plans again. And I've heard you make mention before, like, well, you know, sometimes your plans just aren't really that well thought out. Like, bring more men. They're being taken out. Yeah, they're scraping but, the bottom of the barrel now. Yeah, they're having fuck like, recruiting Timothy's ass. But, uh, okay, I guess some things that remind me of the first Ninja Turtles and the second Ninja Turtles movie, mostly. Um, using a human, like an eager human who wants to help, wants to be a hero, a Kino from Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. We had the, the, the storyline, the switching weapons. Like, Sh- Splinter's a great teacher, and he has pretty, pretty intense methods, but... If you go to a place like this and their life is in danger and you're trying to save an innocent person, you figured you want them to be at their best. Right. <laughs> so. Like, train for that, and then when yeah. you get in a real-world situation, you know, that's not the time to be, like, practicing. Yeah, but. you don't Yeah, you don't want to practice in a real-world situation. Um, But, you know, it, it was it was a great episode in terms of, like, if the fighting was good, the shock value was good. I hope they turn back Timothy, and it was a hell of a thing, Tom. Yeah, I like seeing that more and more you're seeing where the turtles within their group have to kind of make moral decisions. Yeah. Right? Like, the majority has to decide on how they're going to handle moral decisions. Okay, do we pretty much use this kid as a guinea pig to lead him to, you know, do we continue to let him provide us with information? And like, no, like, that's wrong. We can't use this innocent, naive kid. But they're kids, too. They're 15, and he's around that age or older than them. Yeah. It's just the idea of them having to, within their group, make these moral decisions. Yeah. You know, and seeing how each of the four of them think differently about it yeah. based on their personalities. Guys, thank you so much for watching our reactions. If you like us, subscribe to us on Patreon. It is the best way to support us. You can also click that thanks button. There's people who like to do that. You don't want to commit to a monthly subscription thing. Uh, also, just leaving a comment really helps. Watching this yeah. whole video, just liking it. We appreciate it, guys. Check out our merch, by the way. There's a shirt. There's a mug.